Well, moments ago, we just received new details on what actually caused this early dismissal. In summary, everything's OK, and uh, police have now gotten to the bottom of what caused uh, this to happen. Uh, in summary, police say a student created a fake Facebook account in which she sent a threatening message to herself and forwarded along to another student. That student reported, then reported the incident. Uh, this all coming at a time where school threats around the nation and in our area seem to be on the rise, even though we've Re now learning that this one uh, is everything is OK. Uh, just today, Colchester police confirming that yesterday afternoon, an 18 year old student was overheard saying he was going to shoot up Colchester High School, uh, Richford High School. Just another example, school officials posting on their Facebook page that a student made threatening comments on social media. Their investigation into it is ongoing and following a threatened Fairhaven school massacre that was just thwarted last week. Police have one important message for the public. If you see something, say something. We just want to hear what they're seeing, and if they can capture those messages for us to actually see and verify what they're saying to us, that's very important um, as well. It helps us identify the, the individuals involved and uh, to follow up with that. Police say that Colchester High School student Alex Cardozi will be in court uh, this upcoming Thursday. And we do know that all three high schools uh, that I mentioned just recently in the past few days sent out letters to parents actually uh, about school threats. They all three schools say that they take them extremely, extremely seriously and they all have procedures in place in order to combat them and investigate them if these incidents uh, do arise. For now, live in Fairfax tonight, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.